On June 2, 2020, Monterosa was shot and killed by Vallejo police when they were responding to a vandalism call at a Walgreens. Crowd Falls Amanda Harry attended the celebration, and she lets us know how the family is feeling on this uh, this evening. Good evening. Good evening, Justine. Although there was a lot of sadness, there was also some joy in celebrating Sean's life. This was his first birthday since he was killed, and there were things like food, music, and even a balloon release, all to remember the life that he did get to live. Hundreds of people gathering to remember a life that ended too soon. June 2nd of 2020, Sean was murdered by the Vallejo Police Department while he was on his knees with his hands up um, during the George Floyd protest. Sean Monterosa would have been 23, but for the last 10 months, his sisters have been fighting for justice and amplifying his name. It was strange, you know, it was one of those things where we woke up and we wanted to say happy birthday, but there was no one to say happy birthday to physically. This was a big week for the Monterosa family. In addition to Sean's birthday, a jury found Derek Chauvin guilty for killing George Floyd. I know with the verdict that Sean would be proud if he was here today. His sister, Michelle Monterosa, says one of the last things he did before he was shot and killed was try to get justice for Floyd. Just 30 minutes before Sean was murdered, he texted my sister and I demanding that we sign the petition to get uh, George Floyd justice. Now his sisters continue to fight for Sean and any other person wrongfully killed by police. Sean is just a little piece of this long, long journey and it's a long fight. At the celebration, his sisters were also collecting books about social justice for this little library in his honor. The little library is right across from Holly Park. Amanda, they, do they plan on doing this every year? They're not sure yet. They say right now they're taking everything day by day and just seeing where that takes them. They say they can't really predict the future like Sean never would have thought this would have happened to him. But they're going to continue their fight for Sean and anyone else killed by police. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News. Thank you so much, Amanda.